Well, good evening. I'm, uh, I'm not Kobayashi, and I'm not, <laughs> I'm not Joey Chestnut, but I am here to tell you about how to eat a 72-ounce steak and what it can really teach you. And how this came about was uh, I was coming back from a road trip to California, and I hadn't eaten since Arizona, and we were passing through Amarillo, and this is the sign that you see off I-40. And there's a sign, and I, I saw it, and you know, of course, with puberty and being that young, you'd think, oh, that's a good idea. I can process that many calories. Let's do it. So this is the actual Big Texan. It's a classic Texas tourist trap, big, lots of tacky Western decor, and it's got a lot of um, wood and animals, uh, dead animals in it. But what's really made the place uh, famous is this steak dinner, which consists of a steak, a baked potato, a roll, a salad, and a shrimp cocktail. Now, everyone gets distracted by the steak and the baked potato, but I, I want you to remember that blue sliver, that 5%, that shrimp cocktail. That's really the key to finishing the meal. That's part of the strategy, because this is what the meal actually looks like. It's basically a seat cushion, four and a half pounds of meat, okay? <laughs> with a shrimp cocktail, the dinner roll, the salad there, and by the time you're done, you're eating about five pounds of food, all in this lovely ambiance with, <laughs> you know, deer horns and bull horns, and uh, you've got a 60-minute timer counting down while you sit on a stage. So it's, it's, it's kind of distracting, but this is the approach. And the way that I did it, being a computer nerd back then and still now at heart, uh, my friends and I thought, oh yes, this is like, uh, this is the divide and conquer algorithm. So basically the concept is we take a big problem and we split it up into lots of small problems. So in effect, you eat it in increments of 10 minutes, six times, <laughs> devoting six minutes of each increment to two ounces of meat. So you've got, and then you strategically stagger your starches. You see the salad and the shrimp cocktail are placed strategically so that you don't have to take in too much water because you don't want to take on more fluids than you actually have to. So you use the shrimp cocktail, you use the butter, you use the dressing, you use the sour cream to help lubricate your esophagus and really change your palate up. The after party consists now, you get, you get your name on a wall and you get a t-shirt, but what you really are going to want is some good antacid, maybe some mint tea. What does this all really teach us? How does this relate to anything useful? Well, uh, now that I've been practicing law and working, I've noticed that you know, there are some truths to be learned from this whole experience of eating the 72 ounce steak. First among them is that you want to go, just like when I went to that steakhouse, with good people. You want to go with friends, people who are going to cheer you on. This is a friend of mine, you know she's a good friend when she not only shares her lunch, but she feeds it to you. <laughs> so life and eating and work, it's all better when, you're sur when you surround yourself with good people. The next thing that I learned about after eating the steak is that to go the extra mile, to really go out there for your clients, goes, is twofold. If you go out there for them, you go the extra mile, they'll come to you as well. And it's really about going back to what Jim had talked about earlier tonight. It's about building value. And you should never underestimate your own potential, that you can't handle some kind of project because it's too big. Because remember, just like the 72 ounce steak, you can do it. It's simply a matter of breaking it down into its component parts. You've just got to change your game plan a little bit and view it not as one big problem, one big meal, but a series of small meals. Every little part has its, its role in order for the whole thing to work. So it's all about breaking it down and really utilizing it. Now, you've got to give yourself a deadline. We all procrastinate. We all, you know, are wonderful time in college. And eating the steak, they give you a 60-minute countdown. But in real life, even if you procrastinate, you've got to build that time in and have some kind of plan so that you know what, at least, what milestones you want to hit. Anyone who's ever worked on any kind of project knows what this kind of looks like. And you want to have a plan so that you hit those milestones. But at the same time, you don't want to be a slave to that plan. You know, when you're eating that steak, you want to be flexible, because if you're at 30 minutes and you haven't finished the potato, you might want to adjust the plan a little bit and kick in more potato and save that shrimp cocktail for the very end. So you want to be flexible but disciplined. You want to stay within reason and have some kind of game plan that you're going to follow. So the gist of this, and the thought I want to leave you with is that as professionals, as creative individuals, and to contribute to our community, we want to plan for tomorrow, take action today, and we want to do that in a way where we are that 5%. We're that blue sliver that was on that pie chart. 
We're the shrimp cocktail that makes eating a 72 ounce steak more possible. We help our clients, the people around us, get through the great endeavors in their life by breaking those problems apart and working with you.